Hi friends, this is Muhammad Zibran and welcome to our tutorial series on C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Studios. In this video, I'll be explaining you about the functions. So, what are functions? Well, actually, in a layman's wo uh, words, function is actually a part of a code which uh, which performs a particular task on its own self. So, we'll use our uh, existing code and we'll create a function for it. So, here what I have is uh, uh, whenever this uh, user uh, clicks this button then uh, I am declaring three variables integer variables that are a b and c I am initializing their values a as 5 b as 2 and I am setting the value of c as equal to the sum of values of a and b and uh, after that I am uh, ass assigning that value to my label and I am displaying it on my label okay so for uh, performing this task I want to use a function so for that I will just uh, cut it and I will write a function for it let me say uh, private private is the access specifier and then uh, private void means the return type and the function name let me say add okay and just two parentheses open and close brace and just write every code what you have over here and here I will uh, call my function that is add you can see my intelligence pops up this add function okay it takes no uh, parameters uh, fine then a semicolon now we'll run it so now when you run your application Uh, here's your application running and when you click this button you get the same thing you see there is no change in the code we are again clicking this button and uh, the sum pops up it's not a big difference so what's the need of creating a functions uh, suppose when uh, you have a big project where uh, your project is working you have different tasks to maintain uh, you don't want to write everything in a single block of uh, in a single block so you create some functions like this some small functions uh, suppose if you are creating any uh, operation for adding another for subtraction one for multiplication so you will not be writing everything in this uh, block only on the in the same block that is button click but you will be writing different functions for them okay which performs different tasks like uh, adding and subtracting so that's the reason we go for using functions and uh, now what is private private is the access specifier uh, suppose uh, if I say my this function is a uh, private then no one else can use my this add function I mean uh, if we add one more form over here then uh, we cannot use this uh, add <coughs> function in our that form but if I say this uh, written type uh, it's written type as public then anybody can access my uh, this function so uh, most of the time we go for private we go for uh, public in the different uh, at the different uh, scenarios where you want to uh, reuse a uh, written code already and uh, these are the braces suppose if you are passing any value in this function from this uh, button click then we will write some para uh, some parameters into it but uh, here we are not doing anything like that so we are just keeping it empty and this is the return type which means whenever this function uh, completes its task so will it return a value suppose if you say uh, if this uh, functions complete a task then it will give you back an integer value then we have to write it as an int okay if it is giving a bool value that's a true value or a false value uh, b uh, let me tell you bool is another uh, data type for uh, it's a shortcut for uh, uh, boolean which has two values that's uh, true and false if you use if your function returns you a true value or a false value uh, depending upon the condition then the return type for that function will be a bool so this was brief regarding the functions and uh, in the next video we will try to create a simple calculator for our user so hope you like this video and thanks for watching it.